Hey guys, today we're going to be revisiting the Timbuktu Authority Pack. And this is a bag that I actually took a look at a few years ago. And at the time, this was one of the best work and everyday tech bags that you could find. And I was very happy to see that Timbuktu didn't really change any of the things that made the original so great. They just added a few key improvements to create a better all around experience. So I've been testing the deluxe version of the bag for about a month. And so far it's been great to use. I really love its overall aesthetic. It has a great build quality. It's been very comfortable to wear and it comes with a ton of awesome organizational options. So I'm really excited to share it with you guys. And I want to thank the company for sending the bag for me to test out. And with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump in. Starting off with the outside of the bag, the appearance here is very much unchanged from the original Authority Pack and I really liked the style of that bag. It just had a very sophisticated and modern appearance that felt like it's going to look really good in a more professional or office setting while still working for walking around the city. And so I still really like the aesthetic here and I'm glad they didn't change it too much. The biggest difference that you can see from the outside is down at the bottom. You have this accent piece here that's kind of a pleather or tarpaulin like material. So just to give it, I guess, a little bit more of that deluxe feeling and it works pretty well. I actually preferred the original with just the more consistent color across the full front of the bag. And you know, this looks great in an all black. The version that I have here is more of a navy with that black accent on the bottom, but you can check out all the color combinations that Timbuktu has on their site. And then moving into the materials, the bag feels really solidly built as we've seen with many of Timbuktu's other bags. They don't list the exterior material on their site, but you know, upon using it, it feels a little bit like a durable kind of polyester material, like it's gonna hold up well, like many of the other Timbuktu bags that I've used. I've had them for several years and I've never had any issues with the exterior material. It also feels like it's gonna offer a decent amount of weather resistance, particularly in lighter or medium rain. And then you also have some nice YKK zippers all throughout with the inverted coils to give it just a little bit more protection against the elements. And then continuing along the outside, I was really happy to see that the bag includes an external water bottle pocket. And I was able to fit the same 20 ounce water bottle that you've seen in a lot of my other daily bag videos. And that fit in there pretty nicely. One thing that I would call out about this water bottle is that it doesn't have too much elasticity. So the size of the water bottle that you saw there was about as big of a bottle as I would be comfortable fitting. You know, it looks a little bit stretchy, but upon using it, it just starts to get very tight. You actually have the water bottle poking into the main volume of the bag. So it would have been nice to give this some extra elasticity if you're somebody who likes to carry a larger water bottle. And then along the bottom, you have a few compression straps, and I really like the use of buckles here so you can fully open up the compression straps so you can attach something like a yoga mat, uh, a tripod or maybe a smaller electric skateboard like the one that I normally like to carry with me. And then you have plenty of adjustability. The buckles make it very easy to get whatever you have in here in and out. One change from the original authority pack, which I thought was interesting is this. This is a plastic buckle, it feels like, whereas the original had metallic buckles. So, you know, interesting that that was changed considering this is the deluxe version of the bag. So it doesn't feel quite as premium as the original buckles. They still feel like they're gonna hold up well. They feel like a high quality plastic, but again, just given the deluxe name of the bag, I would have liked to have seen that more metallic buckle to, to go along with, with the rest of the appearance. And then at the top of the bag, you have a very nice handle, it's very thick. It has a nice seat belt like material. It's well cushioned, so it feels comfortable to hold even when the bag is a little bit more packed out. And I like that it stays pretty flush against the top of the bag. It's easy to reach in and grab, but it doesn't stick out awkwardly when you're not using it. And then continuing on with the capacity, the bag comes in at about 28 liters, which is you know a really versatile everyday bag size in my opinion. It's a little bit on the larger side. And as far as the 28 liters of this bag, it felt a little smaller than other 28 liter bags that we've looked at. And that's due to the slimmer form factor that this has. When it's packed out, it really maintains a slim silhouette which hugs my back. It makes it great for navigating crowded areas or jumping onto public transit, but not always so great for holding bulkier items. Taking a look at the straps and the back paneling, so far the bag has been really comfortable to wear. This is one of the biggest updates to the bag is this new system of strap that they have here. It has plenty of padding. It's really thick and comfortable right out of the box. And then on the inside, you can see it has these kind of ridges here that just provide a lot of extra padding. And the material isn't quite as breathable as I would normally like to see, but I do like that the straps have a nice width to help prevent them from digging into my shoulders when the bag is a little bit more packed out. 
And then on top of that, you also get an adjustable and removable sternum strap to help distribute the weight. And one interesting thing about these straps here is that you don't have the traditional kind of bottle opener that Timbuktu's bags normally come with on the strap, which to me makes a lot of sense considering the more professional appearance of this bag. So just something that I wanted to call out. Moving into the back paneling, this has also felt really comfortable. You have the same style of padding that we saw on the strap, so very soft. And then I like that the padding has a nice amount of elevation to create this air channel to help with ventilation while you're walking around throughout the day. And then the last thing I'll call out while we're on the back paneling is that you also have the addition of this luggage pastor, which is gonna be great for resting the bag on a suitcase while you're traveling to save some weight on your back. And then jumping into the organizational options, the bag has some really great pocketing all throughout and the layout hasn't really changed from the original version of the bag. Maybe some of the items that I carry with me are a little bit different, but just jumping into the first one here on the front, you have a nice quick access pocket. And I like that this has the zipper garage to help add some additional protection against the element. So it really closes tightly there. And this is a great type of compartment I like the vertical orientation of the zipper so I can reach around and grab something from here without taking the bag all the way off. And in this pocket, the first thing that we have is this nice long lanyard that's gonna be a great spot to hold something like your keys or a multi-tool, which is what I currently have here. And I really like the use of this metallic buckle to make it very easy to get your keys or tool on and off. And then besides that, no other sort of internal organization in this pocket. It's a little bit flatter as well, so it's not gonna be great for holding bulkier items but in this area i was also able to hold a lightning cable with power brick to charge my tablet and my phone and then i also tossed in my apple airpods moving up along the front you have another smaller quick access pocket and i like that this one's a little bit more hidden you have this flap that kind of comes over to protect the zipper and it makes it hard to tell that there's even something there and so opening this up again a little bit smaller but it still has some volume to it, so it's gonna be a great spot for holding something like my Ray-Ban sunglasses with their case, which is what I currently have here. This might also be a great spot to, again, put maybe some cables, some snacks, or maybe even your phone while you're going through TSA. One note that I wanted to mention here is that, unfortunately, there's no sort of fleece lining, which might've been a nice addition, particularly as this is gonna be a great spot for something like your phone. And I also noticed that the lining color is different here versus the front compartment. You have this nice orange lining here and then a gray lining. So an interesting choice of colors there. Not sure why it wasn't consistent, but still nice to have both bright colors to make it easier to see what's on the inside. The next area that we're gonna take a look at is the laptop compartment. And so this has a top loading compartment on the back. I like that this is actually separate from the main area and you have two zippers so you can easily open this up. And there's plenty of space in here for holding up to a 15 inch laptop. There may even be some 17 inch laptops that you can fit. And the compartment has a ton of padding. I really like how well protected everything feels. This is some pretty thick padding on both sides. Currently what I have in here is my 13 inch MacBook Pro, but you can see how much space there's left over at the top. And I like that the compartment is suspended off the bottom of the ground. So it feels like my device is gonna be well protected if I happen to place my bag down a little bit harder. So pulling my laptop out. Now with the compartment empty, you can get a better look at the inside. And so it comes up a decent amount. So you should be able to fit a laptop that's a little bit thicker, but I would worry about how tight the laptop would start to feel if you fill up the main area quite a bit. So not as spacious as some other laptop pockets. And it would have been nice to have more of a fleece lining to help protect against scratching. But regardless, with the amount of padding that you have here and the fact that it's suspended, it really feels like my device is gonna be very well protected while I'm running around throughout the day. Up next, we have a slightly larger admin pocket that has some nice internal organizational options. So this has a zipper that goes pretty far down so you can get a good view into what's inside of the compartment. And I like that the compartment is gusseted here on the side so you can open it up, but you don't have to worry that everything is gonna accidentally spill out. And so plenty of space. And I like that this compartment goes all the way down. So if you have something a little bit taller or you wanna toss in something like a jacket or a dot kit, you should have some space to do so. What I currently have in here starting off at the front is just a full size moleskin notebook. And then I also have my GoPro Hero 3 Plus, which I just kind of laid there at the front since there was some extra capacity. And then on the back of this panel, you have some slip pockets that are gonna be great for your accessories. So all the way on the left, you have a slightly larger slip pocket that's gonna be great for holding something like a smaller tablet. This is an iPad mini, which fit in there very comfortably. This should also be able to hold something like a Kindle. And I like that this slip pocket is a little bit elastic and it also has 
kind of a softer lining on the inside. So again, just a great way to help protect against scratching, plenty of space. And then next to that, you have a few small slots that are gonna be great for holding something like a pen or a stylus. Currently what I have here is the Everyman Click Pen. And then on the right, you have a slightly larger slip pocket. Currently I just have a little flashlight in here, but it has that same soft kind of material. So this would be a great spot to hold something like an Apple Magic Mouse or maybe a portable hard drive or even a smaller phone if you happen to have one. And then the last pocket that we have in this compartment is this zippered pocket here at the top. And I like that this provides some extra space as kind of a catch-all area for anything smaller that you don't want floating around and getting lost in this larger area. And so plenty of space here. I also like the use of this mesh. It feels pretty durable and you can also see through it so you can identify what's actually in this pocket. And so what I currently have here is my Blue Pop portable Bluetooth speaker and power bank. And I also tossed in a little stand for my tablet and my phone. And I also tossed in a wireless charger that I like to have with me, particularly while traveling or working you know, at an office or something, I can just place my phone down and just have it charged while I'm sitting there. So really like the amount of volume offered here. No sort of internal organization, but again, just a great spot to kind of keep everything easy to find. And then the last area that we're gonna take a look at is the main compartment. And so this is a top loading bag. So it has the zipper here that opens up very nicely. It would have been nice to maybe have this zipper go all the way down, similar to the quick access pocket that we saw a second ago. It was nice how this had a little bit of a wider opening so you could get a nice view. You had those gussets. So a similar layout here would have been nice to see, but you can still kind of see everything that's on the main area when you need to. And again, at 28 liters of capacity, this does have a decent amount of space. Now this is a slimmer bag, as I mentioned earlier in the video, so I can fit some bulkier items, but at 28 liters, I would have expected to have some more leftover space when having a more of a daily carry loadout. You know, the Evergood CPL28 and the Heim Planet 28, you know, are about the same size and capacity, but it just feels like they can hold a ton more stuff. And that's due to the fact that they have a simpler layout, but just something to kind of note. And so jumping into the items that I currently have here, first up, I have my Bellroy Classic Pouch, which has some of my smaller kind of tech items. And then I also tossed in the case for my DJI Mavic Mini. And then moving down towards the bottom, I have my Beats Studio wireless headphones. And then the last pouch that I have down here is the Air Slim Pouch, which is a newer pouch that we did an in-depth video on pretty recently. If you wanna see how I load this out, make sure to check that out. And then the last item that I currently have here is my Levitate portable standing desk, which fits in there very comfortably. Now with the compartment empty, you can get a better look at the inside. So a very simple layout here, not a lot of internal organization. On the back, you just have this nice sleeve that's gonna add some separation for anything flatter that you wanna store in this area. So if you have a taller tablet or a second laptop that you wanna carry with you, this may be a good spot to put it. This sleeve isn't necessarily padded, but it is a little thicker than kind of your standard slip pocket that you might find in a bag like this. So it's nice that it has some protection for anything that you wanna separate out. And then I just really like the simple layout here as it gives you some flexibility with what you can store. So even though this can't hold as much as some of the other minimal travel bags that we looked at, this is still a good size for maybe a weekend trip. I was able to toss in you know, my larger double-sided packing cube, a dot kit, and then I might have some space along the front for any of the additional items that I might wanna carry with me. So a really solid capacity. I like the slimmer form factor. And in general, it's just a really great design. I like the pocket layout and the aesthetic. So if you're looking for a very professionally styled bag that's gonna offer a solid build quality and just have a great spot for anything that you need to carry with you, then this is gonna be a fantastic option to check out. And so to wrap up, it's been a great experience testing out the Timbuktu Authority Pack Deluxe over the past month. The bag has been very comfortable to wear. It has a great build quality. I really love the amount of space that it offers and it also has a nice professional aesthetic. And so you can currently purchase this on Timbuktu's site or Amazon for about $140, which considering the features and build quality feels like a pretty reasonable price. And it also compares well to other similar bags in this price range. And so as I was testing this out, one of the first bags this made me think of is the Timbuktu Parker Pack, which we looked at pretty recently on the channel. That is another really solidly built bag from the company. It has more of a modern and kind of techy aesthetic, and that one's gonna be great if you're somebody who needs to commute a lot by bike. It has a little bit better weather resistance, and it also has the ability to expand out. So if you have a little bit of a larger loadout for your everyday carry, or you're looking for something that can work well for minimal travel, then that's gonna be a great option to take a look at. The next bag this made me think of is the Tortuga Setout Laptop Backpack, which is one of my favorite all-purpose bags. 
comes in at 25 liters, but because it has a clamshell style opening, it can hold the same or even more as this bag, even though it has a slightly smaller capacity on paper. And that bag also has one of the most comfortable harness systems that I've tested out. It comes in at around $125, so a little bit lower price. It has a great build quality. And so if you're looking for something with this sort of a vibe, but that's just gonna have that clamshell style opening, and that's gonna be one of the best options to check out. Another bag this made me think of is the Series 2 Medium Expandable Knack Pack, which I've been using a lot recently. I really love how versatile that bag is. It has a similar aesthetic to this. It comes in at 25 liters when it's compressed down, but the cool thing about that bag is that it actually expands out to 34 to 35 liters to make it a very capable one bag travel option. So it has a professional aesthetic, a lot of great organizational options. That one's not gonna be quite as comfortable as this one, and it's also gonna come in at a little bit of a higher price range, but if you need the ability to have something that can work well for travel and for daily use, then that's gonna be another great option to keep in mind. And then the last bag that I'll mention here is the Air Tech Pack 2, which is a really solid work and everyday bag. It's very comfortable, it has a solid build quality, it has as many if not more organizational options than this. It's gonna keep your tech very well protected, and I really like the modern and very minimal aesthetic of that bag. It's gonna work very well in a professional and kind of office setting or for walking around the city. Now that is gonna be in a little bit of a higher price range, but I feel that the build quality on that is slightly sturdier than this. So if you have a higher budget and you just want something that's gonna be very reliable and stylish, and that's gonna be a great option to take a look at. With that being said, the Authority Pack Deluxe holds up really well against all those bags. And if you're looking for a durable and comfortable work and everyday bag that's gonna offer a ton of organization and protection for your everyday essentials. And this is gonna be a great bag to check out. And I'm definitely curious to hear what you guys think of the Authority Pack Deluxe and how it compares to a lot of the other great Timbuktu bags that we featured on the channel. And if there are any similar options that you think I should check out, as always, please let me know in the comments. And I wanna thank the company again for sending the bag for me to test out. And if you found this video helpful, please give us a like. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one.